Alright, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another installation tutorial. I'm going to install Flans mod on a client for Minecraft version 1.8 at the moment. Um, after I've uploaded this one, I'm going to, I'm going to make a new uh, server installation tutorial too. I did one on 1.5.2, but there's a new version now and it's been like three years ago, so... Uh, yeah, let's just open Minecraft. Um, I'm gonna show you there's no no Forge profile. The Forge profile is the profile we're gonna use to install the mods. Um, yeah, so now it says 1.11.2, the newest version, and just my normal profile, which we don't need. So just close Minecraft and go to Google Chrome. I currently have it open in my second screen. So I'm just gonna drag it here, and then you'll see the Flans mod website um, yeah here is the the written installation tutorial which you can see it's pretty clear actually but I'm just gonna yeah do it I'm gonna show it step by step um, just to make it a bit easier so on the Flans mod site you just go to uh, yeah slash download or you can go to flansmod.com and select the download and install tab on the left of the site um, yeah, so here it says download cu current uh, 5.1 is the version of Flans mod itself for Minecraft 1.8 and that's the one we need. So just press that and we will re be redirected to add fly. We're gonna wait a few seconds. Alright, so the problem with add fly is that I'm... Uh, I think it's because I'm using Adblock on Adfly. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just copy this link into Microsoft Edge and just install it from there. If your Chrome isn't working either, you can just go ahead and open up uh, something like Internet Explorer or uh, yeah, Edge, which I'm doing now. And there we go. It should be able to download the files now. Uh -huh. Is it working? Yeah, so we are being redirected to Mediafire and from here we can download the Flans mod file. Yes, I want to download that. Just save it and close all of this. Alright, downloaded that. Yeah, so we'll just uh, click on um, open the folder it's in. So here we see there's the .rar file. And for now, just drag it to your desktop for easy access later on when we are going to need it. Alright, and then there are some other things we will have to download, which are the content packs. Um, yeah, so the default content packs are like the Simple Parts pack, uh, World War 2 pack and Modern Weapons pack, I guess. I'm not quite sure about the Modern Weapons pack and World War 2 pack, but uh, you need a Simple pa Parts pack for any, uh, yeah, for any content pack to work, because you need those parts to create, uh, yeah, create the items in the other packs, and as you see, you can, cr you can just download all those packs and the installation is exactly the same as the ones I'm going to show. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the simple parts pack, modern weapons pack and the World War 2 pack. Go ahead and click the... Uh, this is a AdFly download again so we're just gonna copy these into our Microsoft Edge intern of uh, Edge launcher. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Alright, yeah, so this kind of seems risky, but it's just the uh, the ad that's being blocked, so that's not a problem for the download itself. We are probably going to be redirected, yeah, we are going to be redirected to Mediafire again. Alright, download Simple Parts Content Pack, just save it. Yes, um, alright, so I'll just open the open the folder once again, and now I'm going to install the three 
content packs I've said I would download to show you. So now we got the simple parts pack. Um, then we'll need the modern weapons pack. Oh, I've I opened them here, didn't I? I did. All right. So I've downloaded simple parts. And then we're gonna need the modern weapons pack. Uh, copy the link into Microsoft Edge, and for now, I'm just gonna copy the other one right away. I'm not quite sure why my Google Chrome isn't loading them actually, so you can just go ahead and try Chrome first if the links work that redi redirect you, but for some reason, it doesn't right now. Alright. There we go, download Modern Warfare content pack. And this one, all the ads, so annoying. Alright. Downloads, alright. So those are all the, the content packs we are going to need. Save. Did I save this one? Nope. Save. Alright, so if I now open the folder that they're in, we can see three content packs being downloaded. And again, I'm going to drag these three to my desktop. Just for now, they will be removed later, but for easy access, this is the easiest way. So, three content packs, the Flens mod itself, and then we will need Minecraft Forge. To download Forge, you go to files.minecraftforge.net and here you can select Minecraft version 1.8. Easiest way is just, in my case, the uh, Windows version and then the installer. Um, for some reason this one is working in my uh, Google Chrome. Maybe just because it's at focus instead of at fly, but... Not a problem, uh, alright, so I'm going to drag this last file to my desktop and then we won't need the uh, internet anymore. Alright, so I have shown my Minecraft and it's at the, the 1.11.2 profile right now. Go into Forge and yeah, just if you have uh, your Minecraft installed at the default location, which I do have, you can just go ahead, install client. Uh, press OK and all you have to do, I'm sorry my, my mic uh, went off because it didn't get any audio signal for 5 minutes. I'm using the Astro A50, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Because I'm using the microphone of course. But uh, yeah, so it now says successfully installed client profile Forge for version Forge 1.8. Now open up your Minecraft again and as you see it created a new profile called Forge. You need to select this profile and press play and it already says Minecraft 1.8. Yeah, so just uh, just make sure the, the, the Minecraft is being uh, started up once. As you see, because we downloaded Forge, we used Forge, it says the mods are being active and loaded. Which is good. But now we're going to close Minecraft and install the actual mods we are going to use. So you can go ahead and go to your search bar and type in percent sign app data percent sign and it will show you either this folder or a folder named roaming which we will be directed to either way. Uh, go ahead and open the dot minecraft and as you see it has a mod folder in it now because we installed and opened minecraft with forge with All right, so in the folder created by uh, forge We are going to drag the uh, The dot rar file I guess aren't we? All right, so as you see, we've got this, uh, these folders in the .rar file. Oh wait, these these folders, the mods folder and the flan folder. We are going to get the mods folder and drag um, those two into the mods folder right here. It's uh, yeah, it got a 
a default content pack now but after you've dragged those two files into your mods folder we are going to need and launch minecraft again to see if lens mod is doing its job all right there we go yeah it says flens mod should be good it's looking good yeah now so now it says five mods loaded instead of just three um we can go ahead and just close this one again and now in your dot minecraft folder there is a new folder called flan uh yeah so open the new folder called flan and drag the yeah so in in the raw file you have this uh, flan folder and drag the apocalypse content pack in there and the other contents packs you've downloaded so uh yeah we do have four now because the apocalypse was default in the in the file we're gonna just gonna use it after you've done that you can open up your minecraft and everything should be good to go now i hope my mic isn't going to turn itself off in a bit Alright, so just go ahead, uh, go into single player, I will open full screen, there we go. Um, game mode, just put it on creative for, to, uh, yeah, to just test it, world super flat, create new world. We just want to see now if it worked. Alright, so there we go. Um, yeah, everything seems fine, we've got uh, yeah the normal creative style. Uh... Yeah, inventory, and then we go ahead and open the second page, which contains the Flens mod content. Um, yeah, you can you can just pick anything from here. If you installed other uh, other content packs, you can yeah you just choose much more much more things. We'll just go ahead and and try it out. I'll just place a tank and like the the biggest plane. It's pretty sick. This one, the Lancaster bomber and uh, helicopter. So there we go. Little lag spike from randomly spawning it, but there it is. The Flens mod content. And now we are going to drop the Lancaster bomber. Which will make a great thumbnail, I guess. Um. Oh, yeah. So there you go on the installation of Flens mod and content packs. The way you can install the content packs is exactly the same as the ones I've showed in this video. And if you are having any problems, just let me know, and I will try to comment back to every uh, yeah to every comment of yours um yeah if you liked the video please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel for more and let me know what what kind of things you'd like to see next goodbye and good luck with the installation of this mod which is really really awesome